Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between weld metal and heat affected zone. Welding is one of the manufacturing processes where two or more materials can be joined permanently through coalescence formation with or without the application of external heat, pressure, or filler metal. In fusion welding, a portion of the base metal surrounding the junction is melted and resolidified. This zone around the junction that melts and resolidifies is called weld metal, or weld bead. Heat affected zone is a part of the base metal that is not melted during the fusion welding but is heated to an elevated temperature, below the melting temperature of the concerned material, before cooling down to room temperature. Heat affected zone is located surrounding the weld metal. So, let's look into the basic differences between weld metal and heat affected zone in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Weld metal is usually treated as a separate part in the welded sample, rather than considering it as a part of the base metal, whereas, heat affected zone is usually considered as an integrated part of the base metal. Number 2. Weld metal region exists at the junction of two parent components, whereas, heat affected zone exists within the parent components surrounding the weld bead. Number 3. Infusion welding. Weld metal undergoes phase change due to meeting and subsequent solidification, solid to liquid and once again liquid to solid, whereas, heat affected zone is never melted. It always remains solid. So no phase change occurs in heat affected zone. Number 4. Weld metal contains significant portion of filler material, except in autogenous welding, whereas, heat affected zone does not contain any filler material. It is purely a part of the base materials. Number 5. Chemical composition of weld bead or weld metal may differ from that of the parent metals, whereas, chemical composition of heat affected zone is mostly same with that of the parent metals. Number 6. Properties of the weld metal can be improved during welding in several ways, such as appropriately selecting filler composition, shielding gas, etc., whereas, Properties of the heat affected zone cannot be improved favorably during welding, its width can only be controlled to some extent. Number 7, Weld bead or weld metal produces in both fusion welding and solid state welding processes. However, it is narrow in solid state welding, whereas, heat affected zone is noticeable particularly in fusion welding processes. With solid state welding, heat affected zone is very narrow and is mostly not detectable. And, difference number 8, geometry of the weld metal is characterized by three parameters, namely, depth of penetration, weld bead width, and reinforcement height, whereas, only geometrical parameter of interest of the heat affected zone is its lateral width. 